you know, it started with a trip to a museum, and an idea that we could have a class that, have, that combined art and criticism and literature and performing arts. So we've spent the first year really just compiling an enormous amount of research on him and his life. And then we all just kind of compiled it all, talked about what we want to do, and turned it over to Mark to write a play. So Villard, when I wrote it, was influenced a lot by the work that Andrew did. And the female characters who were in there were directly related to Becca and Kate. Because I was going to have one female in before, and Kate joined the class, the play had two females. Um, which is sort of exciting, I think, yeah. you know, in terms of that sort of project. Really, really, what I felt was the most inspiring of it is listening to other artists outside of my field tell me how they view art and what art means to them. I think that was so great having such a diverse um, class in there. I mean, the students all interested in different parts of art and theater that it really helped for everyone in the class to get a full sense of not just the characters that we decided to use, but the whole time period. I even directed differently. Usually I have something in mind with how I want people to go and I remember I turned to you guys and said, you've had a big part in this, I really want you to take a part in shaping each of the parts mm -hmm. that you played. So, you know, both Kate and Andrew, what you saw up there wasn't a director's predetermined vision, it was a year and a half of what it means to dive into this material. But after a year and a half you develop a certain level of trust that you can't do in a semester, I think. There was such an immediate sense of trust when we started doing our rehearsals that I've never experienced before in just a regular, we're, we're going to put on a production of this story because we had such build up to that. I love a class where they help you write the syllabus. I love a class where you say, do we need to do this? No, we don't need to, and you trust them. I love a class where you can say, you can say um, the next two classes are dedicated to music and Jeff Russell and Dr. Goodstein are going to play with music of the period and we can listen to it. We had these crazy ideas and we didn't use any of them, you know, for the two classes, but we learned so much about music of the period. Um, I think it's unbelievable that the university would provide a way that you can spend two years with a group of people, for one thing, and then you can't imagine how, how, that, how that leads in terms of educational benefit and closeness.